Dan, listen, I've been working the force for 25 years, and I've never seen a more determined attorney. Well, Rich, it's taken me 25 years to learn the truth of my brother's involvement. I never thought he would befriend Nikolai. Well, what can you do? Nikolai preys off of those kinds of people. Your brother was just another pawn. I know. They think I was involved, too. Never have I been in such a situation. Yep. And that's why, Mr. Garcia, you are a one-of-a-kind attorney. Oh, that was great, man. Totally. It's way smoother without all that bullshit in the middle. Exactly. Just get right to the point. He just gives them the title, and they're off. Yeah. Sorry about that. Stu and I were rehearsing. I've been kicking ass on Blood and Sacrifice. Almost finished the first draft. Stu's been a great help. He really gets into the characters. Paul, on the other hand, not so much. Paul, you want to do the scene where uh, you're Dennis? Yeah, I guess. Okay, um, Stu, you'll still be rich. Um, let's do this. Whoa, whoa, guys. I'm called here for breaking and entering, and you guys are out here with this shit? Look, Rich, it's not what it looks like. I came here to get my brother out of this house. This isn't ours. I said, this isn't ours. Yeah, it was a setup. Nikolai called in and supplied the drug. Okay, Paul, what is wrong with you? Yeah, you're acting stupid. It's just... Paul, you are annoying the shit out of me. What is your problem? First it was your clown statue. Now I have no idea why you're bitching and moaning. I can't take this anymore. Shit. You got mad zoning right now. Just get over her, Paul. You're killing yourself. Stu, I can't. It's not that easy. Not that easy? Dude, just forget about her. She's crazy. Bat shit insane. She's local. Okay, gentlemen. We are going out. This is my night off. I am not dealing with this right here. We're going out. Where are we going? It doesn't matter. Okay. Gosh, we're gonna have a couple drinks. Have a good time. You know what I'm saying? A couple drinks? Shit. I haven't had a drink in a couple years. Okay, Matt. Stu's driving. You can have one drink. Paul will have a drink as well. Yeah. Paul could definitely use a drink. He needs to stop thinking about Shelly. Hey, this guy with the wise guy's head on? Shut up. Hey, Paul, listen. This is for you to get your mind off of Shelly. First shot is on me. You been here before? Yeah, I've been here before. Let's go. Right. What's up, gentlemen? IDs, please. You got it. So none of you are from Cali, huh? Transplants? What do we have here? An actor, a musician, a... whatever. What are you having? Hmm, you guys have a Shirley Temple or like a sparkly lemonade? Uh, what my friend meant to say was we'll take three shots of your finest whiskey. Blue Torch fine. It's our, uh, it's our best top shelf. Sounds great. Blue Torch something? Um, yeah, I guess. Awesome. Does that sound cool, Matt? Wow. Look at this place. A lot of interesting folks in here tonight. Lots of ladies. Matt? Yeah, he'll take Blue Torch. Perfect. Idiot. This whiskey's strong. I've never had it. You've never had whiskey? You're kidding. Have you ever had any alcohol? Well, one time at my cousin's wedding, I had a sip of champagne. I ended up getting a little rowdy. I was dancing with my grandma. Okay, Matt. 
it's just whiskey. You can have one shot. Your college days are over. You're not reckless like you were back then. Matt? What? How about we toast to Paul? You know, oh, the reason we came down here in the yeah. first place? Oh, no, of course. Uh, here's to, uh... Don't tell me you haven't had whiskey either. No, it's, uh, it's actually the complete opposite. Um, back in college, had a few bad experiences. One time in particular, got suspended from school for two months, man. Two months? It's a lot of school. Well, shit, fuck it. Here's to a good night, eh? Here you go, Matt. You got this. The past is behind you. It's a new day. Bottoms up. Where are all my women at tonight? Woo! Yeah. Yes. Yes. My name is Sunflower, and this song goes out to all of you. So the crazy bastard pulled out a pocket knife. A pocket knife? A pocket knife. And he says, this is gonna go one of two ways. So I tell him to sit down, put your knife away before I break your face, throw you out on the street and kick you till you're dead. That's why I left Morocco. Bathroom. What? You got a bathroom? You, is, it, is, it, is it somewhere around here? It's back that way. Shit, I gotta take a piss. Where's the bathroom at? Oh man, I'm digging this song, but God, I gotta piss so bad, man. Oh. Oh. Hey, um. What the hell did I just walk into? This place great, dude. This is this is a pretty happening spot. Yeah, it's all right. Look, Paul, why don't you go over there by those uh, that musician over there? You know, there's she's got a nice group of girls. In fact, I just saw one of them looking at you. No, you're lying. <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. Come on, you need to get your mind off of her and just forget about Shelly. Have a fun time, here, bro. Have a shot at me. Come on. All right, Stu. It's party time. That's the spirit. Go get her, dude. What's up, Matt? That was one hell of a piss, man. Dude, it felt great, man. Where's Paul? Have you seen him, man? Is he still here? Don't worry about Paul. He's shopping around. Just don't worry about him. Yeah, don't worry, kid. Take it from me. I worried for 35 years of my life. Where'd he get me? The goddamn apartment in Canoga Park. She got the house in Malibu. Matt, forgot to introduce you to Maddie Goldstein. Goldstein? Oh, Goldstein. <laughs> Sorry, she's a lovely gal. One of the best people I met. Build a woman army. Hell yeah! Fuck the patriarchy. Oh my gosh, you were so awesome. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. You know what, guys? You guys are my friends. I'll get you anything you'd like. Consider you brothers, nephews, or shall I say sons? Well, on that note, I say we get another round of Blue Torch. Yeah, that sounds good. Who is this lady? She is a trip. Talk about being our grandmother? What is this shit? Matt? What, Stu? Another shot? I think your friend's slow. Nah, he just thinks too much. Whatever. Alright guys, um, this next song is a song about heartbreak and loss. No, 
there's a fine line between business and friendship. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Hey, man, why don't you slow down, buddy? You're getting kind of you're getting kind of saucy. Stu, I got this, man. Why are you hating, man? Nice meeting you, Maddie. You have yourself you have yourself a nice night, okay? Well company and Matt. You guys have a good day. I was gonna warn you about her. She won't shut up when she gets drunk. But I was enjoying the expressions on your face. <laughs> Friend's drunk. I'm cutting him off. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Oh no, bro. No, bro. You got this, bro. Oh no, bro. Hey Bart, what's her story? Beverly? Oh. She's recently divorced. But she's fun. Completely insane, but fun, really fun, like fun, fun. Why don't you uh, give her Manhattan? Tell her it's on me. <laughs> you sure you want to bark up that tree? Get her the Manhattan. <laughs> oh no, no, bro, you've got this. <laughs> Come on, Matt, you haven't thrown up in years. Oh, don't break the streak. Wait, <laughs> don't, don't do it. Come on, you got this. <coughs> uh, shit. I'm sorry you gotta see me like this. Um, um, I'm sorry, gonna, I'm gonna have to take a little break. Talk to you in a little bit. This is from the lovely gentleman at the end of the bar. Oh, really? You left My name is Paul. Right. Hello, ma'am. see you're sitting all alone. Where's the guy? What's the story? Well, he's gone. Just went through a divorce. I'm sorry to hear that. Wait. 